Hello everyone, this is Shiva from funapps.online and today we are going to learn how to use SQL Cipher. What is the difference between release and release obfuscated and then how do you decompile classes.txt. So let's open the previous jokes app that we created in the previous video and I'm going to create an APK by using the release mode. Now the apk file is in the objects folder so let's go to that folder and here you can see the jokes app apk file so i'm just going to double click it and inside this you see the assets folder and then within that master.db so when you double click master.db it will show the content of the database so as you can see the database is not secure and anyone can download the apk file and you know use the content within the database now to prevent this we can use sql cipher uh, which basically allows us to encrypt the database using a password now i'm going to open the same database master.db using db browser sql cipher And then I go to tools, set encryption. So over here I'm entering the password which is nothing but uh, digits from 1 to 8. And let's click OK. So it encrypts the database and then it will again ask for the password. Great, so our database is encrypted. Now let's go to starter. Now what we need to do is to use this encrypted database, we need to include the library SQL Cipher. Okay. And change our variable SQL1 to SQL Cipher. I'm going to create a new variable called dbpass, uh, which will hold our password. And all we need to do is go to SQL1 initialize and just put a comma and give the parameter db pass. Perfect, so uh, our program is done, and now let's run it. Okay, so as you can see, it is running absolutely fine. But there is still one problem with this. Let's go back to the APK file. Now, as you can see, I can still see the database, but when I try to open it, it will ask for the password. But there is a way to find this password. And because we use the release option, anyone can actually decrypt this APK file, okay, and find out the password. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to a website called decompiler.com and in that website I'm going to upload the classes.dex which is there in the apk file. Now 
what this website does is very simple it will just decompile the classes.dex file and uh, once it decompiles it will actually show all the java code which is there present in the apk file Okay, so I'm just going to go to starter.java. Let's go down. As you scroll down, you will see the variable db pass. And here it is, and you can see the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is actually quite simple uh, for anyone to see your password. And then, of course, they can use this password to open the database. So to prevent this is very simple. All you need to do is when you compile the program, use release obfuscated. And what it does is it will basically shrink the classes, uh, the actual classes uh, in the Java file. So it becomes sort of encrypted. So let's again do the same thing. I'm opening the APK file and I'm extracting the class dot classes dot dxx. So let's do the same thing. Let's extract the classes dot dex file and let's upload it to decompiler.com. Okay, and I'm downloading the file. And let's open the zip file, classes.dex, and let's go to the same Java file, starter.java. As you can see, all the strings are encrypted. So now when you try to search db pass, uh, you will actually not find it in this particular file. So using this method, uh, we can actually encrypt a database and not just a database, but also the internal Java file, which stores the password as a string so that no one can open uh, the database. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, please click on the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more uh, how to videos. Again, uh, this is Shiva from uh, funhubs.online. Thank you very much for watching our videos.